Welcome to MedEd Market. Learn high yield concepts that appear on every step one exam. Today we are focusing on behavioral health and making MedEd a bit more fun. A 46 year old man comes to the physician for a follow up evaluation one week after being discharged from the hospital for acute pancreatitis and alcohol withdrawal. He drinks eight to 10 beers daily. When the physician asks him about his alcohol use, the patient says, This is the second time in a year that I have experienced such severe belly pain because of my pancreas. I realize that it really could be happening because of the amount of alcohol I am drinking. However, I don't think I have the willpower to cut down. This patient is most likely in which of the following stages of behavioral change? Let's focus on the critical information. He had acute pancreatitis and alcohol withdrawal. And now he realizes that his belly pain could be due to the alcohol, but he doesn't have the willpower to cut down. Is he in maintenance, pre-contemplation, preparation, action, or contemplation? Let's first recall the stages of behavioral change. First, there is pre-contemplation. The patient denies or is unaware that the behavior is a problem or what consequences it may have to their health. Second is contemplation. The patient is aware of the problem but is not willing to change. Third is preparation. The patient now is aware of the problem, is willing to change, and starts planning for the change. Fourth is action. At this point, the patient takes action and demonstrates a change in behavior. Fifth is maintenance. The patient maintains the behavioral change and integrates it into their lifestyle. Six is relapse. This is when the behavioral change is reversed and they go back to pre-contemplation. So if we revisit the question, this patient is most likely in the stage of contemplation. Individuals in the contemplation stage of behavioral change acknowledge that there is a problem, but have not yet committed to making a change. In this phase, patients with substance abuse perceive that their addiction may be a cause for concern or a reason to change. They might also consider the possibility of a change. However, patients remain ambivalent and continue their use because they are not ready to make concrete preparations to change. The easiest way to remember the stages of behavioral change is PCPAMR. People can prepare and modify, really. Here is a high yield table for you. Pre-contemplation. Just remember, in this stage, the patient doesn't think. They may say, I don't think there is a problem with my drinking. Contemplation. In this stage, the patient thinks but takes no action. They may say, I think that drinking is a problem, but I'm not sure about cutting back. Preparation. Here the patient thinks and plans but takes no action. They may say, I think my drinking is a problem and I've been planning out how to do it. Action. Here the patient takes action. They may say, I have started cutting back on my drinking. Maintenance. In this stage, the patient takes continued action. They may say, I have been keeping my drinking at a minimum for some time now, and it is part of my lifestyle. Relapse. The patient stops the action and reverts to the old behavior. They may say, I started drinking six beers a day again. Now it's your turn to practice some more. Pause the video if you need more time to answer each question. A 60-year-old patient who successfully quit smoking five years ago continues to engage in healthy behaviors, attends regular checkups, and actively avoids situations that may trigger a relapse. What stage of behavioral change characterizes this individual? The answer is maintenance. A 28-year-old patient who is overweight starts researching diet plans and exercise routines. The individual has set a date to begin a new fitness regimen and is actively seeking support from friends and family. In which stage of behavioral change is this person? The answer is preparation. A 50-year-old with a history of alcohol dependence has just started a detox program and is actively participating in counseling and support groups. What stage of behavioral change best describes this individual? The answer is action. A 45-year-old smoker presents for a routine checkup but dismisses any concerns about the health risks associated with smoking. Despite a long history of tobacco use, the patient expresses contentment with current habits. What stage of behavioral change is this patient in? The answer is pre-contemplation. Well done. Don't forget to like and subscribe for more high-yield concepts. Join the MedEd Market Discord community at mededmarket.com.